So now, once we have everything actually synchronized, let's look at the detailed settings of OSYNC. Let me click settings button in the main window. In network settings you can select if you want to connect to Google using SSL or a regular connection. You can also disable showing balloon pop-up uh, if network or Lotus Notes database is unavailable. This may be convenient in case you are using a netbook and you are continuously losing connection when traveling so you don't want to see these balloons. Here are also the proxy settings which you can change if needed. Now here is your Lotus Notes ID settings. You can actually set up your ID file and password here. Uh, please note that for Windows 7 and Windows Vista this selection, manual selection is unavailable. You can click check credentials if you want to verify connectivity to Lotus Notes. And also here are some debug options but uh, it's not really needed if everything works ok. Now Google account options. This is actually a definition of your Google credentials. You can also check them here. Now, here are update options. You can select if you want to check for updates when OSYNC starts and if you want to check for update daily. So you may want to enable those in case you want to stay up to date. You can also check for update now here. Here is the activation screen, similar to what we had in Wizard, so if you want, you can enter your product key and activate it here. Now, calendar settings, you can completely enable or disable your calendar synchronization and select the way of synchronization, either a two-way or one-way, with defined uh, conflict held in, either overwrite with newer data or always overwrite all events. Now you can also select the synchronization time frame in case you want to limit your synchronization period for example for two months. This actually can work for you if you have a lot of thousands of events and you want to limit your synchronization time to make it quicker. Now a lot of notes options for calendar synchronization it is actually a definition of your mail database and you can also choose if you want to store your Google Calendar name in the category field in Lotus Notes so if you open it here you can see that my personal events have my Google Calendar name in the category field with the setting on but if you want to use your category field for something else you can deselect that option in OSYNC <coughs> Also, if you use Lotus Notes Eclipse-based client, you can uh, exclude the events from synchronization which were created by iCalendar feed subscription. Now, Google options for calendar synchronization are similar to what we had in Wizard, so you can update the list of your calendars in here, select calendars for synchronization, select your default calendar, and you can also choose how you want to handle the events if your calendar in Google was removed. So in this case you can do nothing or resync the events with some other calendar or remove these events from Lotus Notes completely. Now privacy options. This is also important because you might want to exclude synchronization of certain fields between Lotus Notes and Google. For example you may to want to exclude your Lotus Notes meeting invitees from synchronization to make sure that Google knows nothing about their email addresses and doesn't send any kind of notifications to your meeting invitees. Also there are other privacy options so you can control you can control how your events coming from Lotus Notes to Google will be marked so they b may all be marked as private. You can also give different rights to your guests. You can also choose to not synchronize your reminder at all or choose to synchronize it and map it to SMS notification. When your Google events are synchronized to Lotus Notes, you may force them to be private or public, or you can leave them as Google default, so that means that they will pick up the setting in your Google Calendar and the privacy will be set based on that. So now, contacts options. Again, you can completely disable or enable contact synchronization, select the direction and conflict handling also options keep contacts with empty name will have you to exclude those contacts from synchronization we just don't have no name at all because as you know Google contacts have all your contacts 
to whom you have ever wrote any emails or who have sent you any emails to Google account and most of them just won't have any names until you manually define those so if you want, don't want that garbage to appear in your Lotus Notes address book you should enable this option. So basically that's it. I think we got all OSIMC options explained now. Thank you.